Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of February 18th through the 24th. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. So Virgo, for this reading I am using the Finestra Tarot along with the Moonology Oracle. All right, Virgo, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Page of Swords. All right, so for some of you family, maybe children or maybe a child is significant here this week. Others, let's see. Um, there could be some Virgos that maybe you're dealing with delays um, with the Page of Swords. Uh, now, what's interesting is underneath this Page of Swords, underneath I do have the Tower. Um... So interesting. Uh, the tower is not always bad, so don't think that. Um, it can represent a property, a building. Um, and so for some of you, this could be a home or a property that's significant. Maybe you were waiting on news about a property. Um, also, those of you that are going through a great change, you know, if there was like a shakeup, it could be because maybe some of you weren't happy because underneath the tower, I have the four of cups. And so for me, the, the Four of Cups can be someone who's bored, lonesome, bored, um, yeah, wanting something more. And so, you know, maybe some of you are shaking it up or you're going to be shaking it up. I say that because we have this Page of Swords, which for me, he can be a procrastinator. He can be, you know, someone who worries a lot. I do call him my little pessimistic page. And so... You know, those of you that are about to make a big life change, you know, try not to worry so much. Uh, stay out of your head with that Page of Swords energy, um, which some of you are doing. Uh, now, this could be something that maybe, you know, you already experienced prior. You could have been in your head and maybe there's been some fear or some anxiety. But here this week, uh, we do have the two of wands as the overall energy, which is you very focused on the future, which is you planning for the future. Some of you are maybe getting excited about the future here. Um, now, maybe you're waiting on news to come through, waiting on information. Now, for some of you, it could be coming in here this week, and if not this week, in the very near future. Um, now, we do have a full moon here this week. I believe it's on the 19th. Uh, and so some of you, you know, something could be leaving your life, definitely. Um, and some of you are, are definitely going to be starting something new. Um, but we're starting out with strength, which for me... It can represent being patient when you need to be patient, you know, being strong, staying calm, being patient when that's needed, but also, you know, stepping up and having courage, you know, when the time comes. Um, but some of you maybe have been very patient with someone or with a situation, and I feel like that patience is going to pay off um, with strength. And then we, we do have the Nine of Cups with the Ten of Cups. And then also the King of Pentacles. So I am definitely reading for some male Virgos. You might have been very calm, very patient throughout, maybe dealing with something. Um, but I feel like that patience is, is definitely going to be rewarded. You do have this emotional energy that's coming in, um, which this is uh, emotional abundance. You know, your cups runneth over Virgo. You know, it can even be wish fulfillment for some of you with the Nine of Cups here. But with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups, this is this is just overall abundance. Some of you have had to maybe be very strong or stay calm or be very patient. Maybe you've even been tested, Virgo, but that's all about to pay off. Now, some of you Virgos could be involved with the King of Pentacles, which could be, you know, a fellow Earth sign, uh, this male energy. You know, maybe your relationship has been tested. Um, we see you planning for the future. Maybe there was a shakeup. Um, but we very much see you planning for the future here. Um, we do have this Ace of Cups, which is a blessing that's coming in. So we do have a new beginning that's coming in. And, you know, with this with this two of wands and then also temperance here, maybe some of you are weighing the options. 
Um, so we have, you know, change coming in, definitely. Um, you know, a cycle could be completing. You're starting something new here at this time, something that's maybe exciting. With the Ace of Cups here and with Temperance, um, for me, this is definitely spiritual energy. You, you very much being spiritually guided and protected. But I also feel like some of you, this is you maybe weighing your options, you know, making those plans, figuring out maybe how you're going to go about something. Uh, this Ace of Cups can be a new relationship, can be you reconciling with someone. Uh, it also can be, you know, just a blessing that's coming in that's going to bring a lot of happiness to your heart. Also, for some of you, it could benefit your family. Um, you might be expanding your family or starting a family with that tower energy. It can be, it can be a very um, you know, shocking, sudden sort of energy. And so maybe some of you are hearing something um, and it's it's a surprise. Again, don't automatically think that it's negative. Um, and so, you know, maybe some of you are having a baby or you're expanding your family. Uh, but we do have two aces here. You have the ace of cups. You also have the ace of pentacles. So this is a solid new beginning, can be a new job, a raise, a promotion, a new home. But something that you value, something here that will mean very much to you. Now, this Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups can, of course, be the same new beginning. For some of you, this could be your dream job. Um, and maybe some of you um, are, are in the process. I say in the process because I feel like some of you are waiting on news about this. So, you know, these are aces that are coming in. They're in the very, you know, early stages uh, and they will need some time um, to develop here um, or come to fruition. And that's why we see you planning. Also with temperance, um, for me, something is, is gradually developing uh, or unfolding. Um, but listen to your intuition. I mentioned we have a full moon here this week. We also have the moon here in the spread. So, you know, something could be happening around that full moon for some of you. Um, but definitely needing to listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. Again, some of you are definitely being spiritually guided here. Um, but yeah, the moon can also, you know, it's a tricky energy. It can come through... Um, especially when we're starting new beginnings and things are up in the air and not all is known. So, you know, with the moon energy it can be a little heavy sometimes. It's an emotional energy. Um, it's a confusing energy. And so some of you, you, you know, you have these new beginnings that are starting for you, but maybe not all is known. Things are still up in the air and that's why we see you planning. Um, but let's pull you, let's pull you an additional guidance card. But if you are feeling a little bit more emotional here this week, you know, maybe needing to ground your energy, stay out of your head with that page of swords. Don't overthink things. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, interesting. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So some of you need to maybe let go of that that's no longer serving you. But also I feel like if you've been in your head a lot and you've been, you know, maybe thinking negatively, fearing the worst, it's time to maybe let go of that to release any negative thoughts. You know, there's definitely the need for you to stay positive here this week. You definitely have new beginnings coming in, but some of you, you know, there's still some unknowns around these, uh, some what ifs, some unknowns. So just kind of, um, you know, bear with the energy here. Let this energy, you know, subside. It's, it's only here temporarily. It will pass. And then there might be more clarity that comes in for you later on, Virgo. All right, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great week.